got a service call for rack three. That compressor's running. That one is running. And that one is running. Check out our liquid level. Look like we're at about 80%. So basically, our suction set point is set for seven. We're running at 12. And uh, if you look down here at our condenser, run at 100%. If I look over here at my circuits, I don't see any case in alarm. Rack three pretty much stops right here. Uh, everything's at set point besides the bakery free. All right, so we out here by our condenser. Uh, both fans are running. Don't look too bad. I can kind of see the light through it. All right, so I just hooked my gauges up right here. Here's my transducer right there. And um, as you can see, we're reading 285 PSI. And uh, we're going to walk over here to our controller. And uh, we're going to confirm, see what our E2 is reading. And uh, we're reading 286. So. Uh, we're pretty warm, very, very warm back here. Uh, this one is cool. And this one is cool. What is that? 33 amps. So if you have a valve plate leaking by, you be drawing low amps. 28 amps, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's go up here, let's check out. Uh, 15 amps. All right, so checking our suction set point, we're still at 16. But if we look down here at our uh, condenser section, uh, we're at 257 PSI. So we did drop. We was at about 280 or something like that when I first arrived. Uh, the condenser coil looks a little bit dirty, but you can kind of see through it. It doesn't look like it need like immediate cleaning right now. For my suction one more time, uh, something maybe could have went in defrost and uh, actually took out the rack. We're gonna basically use our graph as a tool troubleshooting. You see right here, it happened twice. You know, we had a hot suction alarm the other so, day. If this kind of happened at the same time on each day maybe one of those solenoid valves or EPR valves could be sticking when the case goes into defrost and it uh, wash out the rack and, uh, on this day maybe it just went off on overload and um, you know went off and came back on or something I don't know all right so I think I found my circuit right here circuit 17 frozen food that's a reach in case 13 that's around 1 o'clock and uh, this probably has about a 24 minute, yeah, 24 minute duration, 13 minute drip. So um, maybe um, when this case comes out of defrost, maybe something is sticking, you know? All right, so circuit 17 right here just went into a defrost and uh, I'm watching my suction pressure to see if it um, rises. Uh, basically, if the EPR don't close, basically we'll see that suction pressure rise and uh, that'll give us an indication that our APR is sticking uh, when that circuit goes through defrost. So far, it seems to be working good. I'm just gonna monitor it, and also I'm gonna return this compressor back on. All right, so I just flipped that compressor back on. As you can see, we draw a 27 amps. That case just came out of defrost, and uh, my head pressure rose tremendously with that case coming out of defrost. Now it seems to be coming down uh, pretty that slow. Compressor is still running. Let's just monitor it. Still dropping. We're at 284. We haven't really hit 260 something. I think that's what we had it at earlier. Um, but uh, we're still dropping. Yeah, we had 260. All right, so I just shut down this compressor and I just valved it down. I want to see if we can actually get down the back to 260. I want to see if it's really something up with that compressor because I just left it running for a while. Uh, it didn't want to drop as quick. Uh, it's like sitting around 280. I just want to see if I can actually see it hit 260. As you can see, we're at 254 uh, PSI. I don't really know, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go out and uh, clean my condenser right Reach fast. Rack suction set point. We are dropping a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse this condenser out. Uh, see if it makes a difference. Um, it's not really that bad. I can actually kind of see the light through it, but uh, it's pretty hot out here. Yesterday it was feeling like 100 degrees, feel like temperature, so we need to go ahead and um, rinse this condenser out. All right, let's hit this section. All right, so I just went on ahead and uh, rinsed my condenser out. Uh, let's just see how everything goes. Condenser. So three, two, sixty-seven. 
Let's just log it. 221. So that was me watching the coil. Came down to 221. Alright, so basically at the time of service, I kind of overlooked the issues. Uh, this suction bell hill running warm kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, I checked the valve plate. The valve plate wasn't leaking or anything. Um, you know, we was running a high head pressure rack going off on, um, what it was, high discharge pressure. And, uh, basically what happened was I couldn't catch it at the time. Had someone come out and, uh, take a look at it, give me a second opinion. And, uh, basically what they found was too much oil in the head. I'm back here at the same store on a different service call and I'm just checking it out. But what happened was this, um, pressure relief right here was too full. I mean, the oil reservoir was too full, and um, it was dumping oil into the suction header, and also increasing the load. But on top of that, this three-way valve here is going bad. It wasn't shifting all the way, so um, it was also dumping hot gas back into the suction line through here, through the um, equalizing line, the pilot line. So there's just a lot going on. I kind of overlooked it. Um, hey, it is what it is. I learned uh, something new, something to look out for. Also, I just want to show you how much oil they removed from the system. This is a lot of oil. And look, we're still full of oil. Uh, somebody's been pumping away. But, um, pretty cool.